Hello, myself Dr. Sudha from Government Science College, Autonomous, Bangalore. In this session, let us solve some isoperimetric problems. The prerequisites are the basic integration, Euler's equation, particular forms of Euler's equation. In the previous session, we had solved two problems. Now let us take the third one. Show that the extremal of the functional integral 0 to 2 root of 1 plus y dash square dx subjected to the constraint 0 to 2 y dx is equal to pi by 2 is a circular arc. So we need to show that the solution represents a circle. So let us solve now. Given i is equal to integral 0 to 2 root of 1 plus y dash square dx j is equal to integral 0 to 2 y dx is equal to pi by 2 Therefore, f will be equal to root of 1 plus y dash square and g is equal to y. So, let us form the new function. h is equal to f plus lambda g is equal to root of 1 plus y dash square plus lambda y where lambda is the Lagrange multiplier. So, h must satisfy the Euler equation dou h by dou y minus d by dx of dou h by dou y dash equal to 0 to be an extremum. So here h is independent of x, therefore we can take the Euler equation h minus y dash into dou h by dou y dash equal to c where c is a constant. So let us substitute for h, so we get root of 1 plus y dash square plus lambda y minus y dash into dou by dou y dash of root of 1 plus y dash square plus lambda y is equal to c. Now we need to partially differentiate this expression with respect to y dash. So on differentiating partially, we get 1 over 2 root of 1 plus y dash square into 2 y dash. So here 2 and 2 can be cancelled out. And let us simplify this. That is taking LCM and cross multiplying root of 1 plus y dash square. We get 1 plus y dash square plus lambda y into root of 1 plus y dash square minus y dash square is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square. So here minus y dash square and plus y dash square gets cancelled and we get 1 plus lambda y into root of 1 plus y dash square is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square. So we need to solve this expression for y dash. So root of 1 plus y dash square now will be equal to 1 over c minus lambda y. And on cross multiplication we get uh, 1 is equal to c minus lambda y into root of 1 plus y dash square. On squaring both sides and simplifying, we get 1 plus y dash square is equal to 1 over c minus lambda y whole square. So y dash square will be equal to 1 over c minus lambda y whole square minus 1. Now let us simplify the right hand side. We get 1 minus of c minus lambda y whole square divided by c minus lambda y whole square. Here we require uh, y dash, so let us uh, remove the root sign. So we get y dash is equal to root of 1 minus c minus lambda y whole square divided by c minus lambda y. But uh, y dash is equal to dy dx. So we get dy by dx is equal to root of 1 minus of c minus lambda y whole square divided by c minus lambda y. On separating the variables, uh, we get c minus lambda y divided by 1 minus c minus of uh, lambda y whole square into dy is equal to dx. So here we are going to remove lambda as common factor in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So we get uh, c by lambda minus y divided by root of 1 by lambda square minus c by lambda minus y whole square into d by is equal to dx. Now let us uh, integrate this. Before that let us substitute c by lambda is equal to a and 1 by lambda is equal to b. So c by lambda is equal to a and 1 by lambda is equal to b. So we get 
a minus y divided by root of b square minus of a minus y whole square dy is equal to dx. So integrating we get integral a minus y divided by b square minus a minus y whole square dy is equal to integral dx plus k. To integrate this we need substitution so let us substitute b square minus of a minus y whole square as some variable t. So we get b square minus a minus y square is equal to t. So on differentiation we get 2 into a minus y dy is equal to dt. But we require a minus y dy in the numerator. So let us shift this 2 to the right hand side we get a minus y dy is equal to dt by 2. On this substitution we get integral dt by 2 root t is equal to x that is the integral of dx plus k. But integral of dt by root t, root t is 2 root t so we get root t is equal to x plus k. Let us substitute for t, t is b square minus of a minus y whole square is equal to x plus k. Let us square both sides. We get b square minus of a minus y whole square is equal to x plus k whole square. Let us shift this y term to the right hand side. So we get x plus k whole square plus y minus a whole square is equal to b square. But this is the expression to the circle with the center minus k comma a and radius is equal to b. So this is the equation to the circle with center at minus k comma a and radius is equal to b. Hence we have shown that the extremal is a circular arc. Now let us see one more problem. Find the extremal of the functional integral 0 to pi y dash square minus y square dx under the condition 0 comma 0 and pi comma 1 subjected to the constraint integral 0 to pi y dx is equal to 1. So the solution goes like this i is equal to integral 0 to pi y dash square minus y square dx j is equal to integral pi y integral 0 to pi y dx is equal to 1. So f is equal to y dash square minus y square and g is equal to y. Let us form the new equation, new expression for h that is h is equal to f plus lambda g that is equal to y dash square minus y square plus lambda y. So h must satisfy the Euler's equation dou h by dou y minus d by dx of dou h by dou y dash equal to 0. Now the partial derivative of h with respect to y becomes minus 2y plus lambda and the partial derivative of h with respect to y dash will be just 2y dash. So on substituting these values in this expression we get minus 2y plus lambda minus of d by dx of 2y dash is equal to 0. But the derivative of 2y dash with respect to x will be 2y double dash so we get minus 2y plus lambda minus 2y double dash equal to 0. So this will be the second order differential equation 2d square plus 2 of y is equal to lambda or else we can write this as d square plus 1 of y is equal to lambda by 2. So the auxiliary equation is m square plus 1 equal to 0 therefore the roots are plus r minus i. Therefore, we can write the complementary function c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Now, we need to find the particular integral. So, the particular integral pi will be equal to 1 by d square plus 1 of lambda by 2. That is the right hand side function lambda by 2. Here, it is independent of x. Therefore, we need to put d is equal to 0. So, we get the particular integral pi by 2. So the complete solution y will be equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral and that will be equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus lambda by 2. And this is the required extremal but the conditions are given to find the values of c1, c2 and the Lagrange multiplier lambda. So let us use the first condition given to us that is y of 0 is equal to 0 
Therefore, put y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So, we get 0 is equal to c1 cos 0 plus c2 sin 0 plus lambda by 2. Since cos 0 is 1, we get c1 and sin 0 is 0. Therefore, the second term becomes 0. So, c1 plus lambda by 2 is equal to 0. So, we get c1 is equal to minus lambda by 2. Call this expression 1. Now let us make use of the second condition given to us that is y of pi is equal to 1. Therefore, when x is equal to pi, y takes the value 1. So let us put the value y is equal to 1 is equal to c1 cos pi plus c2 sin pi plus lambda by 2. But sin pi is once again 0, cos pi is minus 1. Therefore, we get minus c1 plus lambda by 2 is equal to 1. From here, we get c1 is equal to lambda by 2 minus 1. Call this expression 2. Now, we need to solve for c1 and lambda using the expressions 1 and 2. So, adding 1 and 2, we get 2 c1 is equal to minus 1. And from there, we get c1 is equal to minus half. So, let us put this value of minus half in the first ex expression so that we get lambda is equal to 1. Since lambda is equal to 1 and c1 is equal to minus half, therefore the expression for y becomes minus half into cos x plus c2 into sin x plus lambda by 2, but lambda is 1, so 1 by 2. But we have one more condition that is integral 0 to pi y dx is equal to 1. Substitute for y in this integral. So we get integral 0 to pi minus half into cos x plus c2 into sin x plus 1 by 2 of dx is equal to 1. Now let us integrate this. Integral of cos x is sin x. Integral of sin x is minus cos x. And integral half half will be equal to x by 2. So we get minus half sin x minus c2 cos x plus half x between the limits 0 to pi. And that will be equal to 1. Let us apply the upper and the lower limits now. When we apply the upper limit pi, we get minus half sine pi minus c2 cos pi plus pi by 2 minus the lower limit is 0. Therefore, minus half into sine 0 minus c2 into cos 0 plus half into 0 and that will be equal to 1. But sine pi is 0. So, the first term here is 0. So, minus c2 into cos pi is minus 1. So, minus of minus plus c2 plus pi by 2 minus of sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, so we get minus c2 and the half into 0 is 0. So minus c2 into minus we get plus c2 and that will be equal to 1. So finally the expression becomes c2 plus lambda by 2, sorry pi by 2 minus of minus c2 is equal to 1. So we get 2 c2 is plus pi by 2 is equal to 1. So c 2c2 will be equal to 1 minus pi by 2 and 1 minus pi by 2 gives us 2 minus pi by 2. But c2 will become 2 minus pi by 4. So let us substitute this value of c2 in the expression for y. We get y is equal to minus half cos x plus 2 minus pi by 4 into sin x plus 1 by 2. So we can combine the terms containing half here. So we get y is equal to half into 1 minus cos x plus 2 minus pi by 4 into sin x. And this is the required extremal of the given problem. Hope everybody followed these two problems. Similarly, we can solve the other two problems. Note down the problems and solve these two.